uh, we'll run through our gear, but and there's a few minor variations, but in general, uh, this is what people do. Uh, one of the first things we like to do is to make sure that while the llamas are going to carry most of the weight, we have what we might really need. So we always ask that folks bring the 10 essentials and carry them with them just in case something comes up. And of course that includes a water bottle and especially where we're going, rain gear. Because you just never know. So once we've sort of set ourselves up, we can think about what we might like our llama to carry. Uh, llamas carry panniers, usually two which are affixed to the side of their saddle. This is a soper's pannier, and uh, in general, you're gonna find that you hang them over the saddle with these two, and of course, this sits against the llama's side. Now, anybody who's ever carried a backpack in the backcountry knows there's a big difference in terms of comfort based on how you pack it. In general, with people, we like it to not have any pointy things poking us in the back and have the weight close to the center of our body so we're not thrown off balance. And the same principles apply here. So here I have an assortment of gear, and uh, so we can sort of think about how we might want to pack this. Now, we like our llamas to carry no more than about 30 pounds in each pannier, or 60 pounds total. They're also carrying a saddle. Llamas, can, of course, can carry a lot more than that, but we like to keep them happy, so we try and stay within those limits. So when you pack one of these, uh, we ask you to keep it about 30 pounds, and we give you a convenient scale that you can work with as well. Now, the pannier uh, is, is, is Pretty voluminous, uh, not as much as a horse pannier, but, but it gives us a lot to work with. So when thinking about how this is gonna sit on the llama, it'd be nice to have sort of flat, comfy things if we have them against the llama's side, and uh, weight generally towards the llama's side, and uh, for our two panniers to be end up at roughly the same size. So there's no perfect way to do it, but we might do something like this. So here we have, uh, here we have a nice thermorest, this one happens to be the folding type. So um, rather than put it in square like that, I might just sort of like unfold it in two, and then I got a nice surface that goes against the llama's back. This is just one way to do it. You could find an equally good way, maybe using your sleeping bag or something like that. Uh, but if we do it like this, our llama's gonna be pretty, pretty comfy when all's said and done. All right, so we wanna get some, the weight against the llama's side. So I have here a tent with uh, poles uh, and I'm going to put them down in there and I'll put the poles a little bit away so that the llama won't get poked by them if I can. Um, if you have something like an ice axe that you're packing, uh, that's a good thing to cover up uh, and a knife so that it doesn't, the llama doesn't poke itself with it. Uh, here I've got my sleeping bag, so I'm going to put that in there right next to the tent. And the uh, sleeping bag is kind of nice and light. Or you might have a bag of clothes or something like that. And I'm gonna fuss it around a bit. And here it looks like I've got a camp chair. This is a little heavier. So I might put it up here, or I might even put it down lower if I want to. It's not an exact science, but you get the idea. All right, a little bit of shuffling here to make room for this. When all's said and done, I have my pan here. And there's a drawstring I can pull to make sure that no gear drops out. I could also put some things up here if I needed to before flipping down the lid. And uh, of course there's some cam buckles that I can adjust. And I have a pair of side pockets. So one of these side pockets on one of our panniers typically carries rain gear that we can get to if it starts raining. Uh, but uh, you might want to use the side pockets for things that you'd like to get your hands on easily. Maybe an extra water bottle or something. Speaking of that, um, you probably have at least two panniers in your hands, and uh, it helps our launch in the morning on day one if uh, you sort of pre-weighed and pre-balanced those. So this is pretty straightforward in terms of weighing. You just sort of take a look at the number. Of course, it's helpful to lift it slowly, so that because if you kind of jerk it, the extra force will uh, give you a false reading. Generally speaking, if you're within about a pound or a pound and a half, looking at your two panniers, you're in the right uh, in the right ballpark. If you're off by um, a pound or two, a lot of people are carrying a one liter, which weighs 2.2 pounds, so it's common to just sort of take one of these and shift it from one pack to the other. That'll let you get plus or minus two to four pounds. So again, it's not a precise science, but this is the kind of thing that it puts our llama in the mood to carry stuff. We also have some straps on the top, and we have the ability to fix some things to the top of the saddle. 